Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teachers Noob. Today I have with me Bianca. Hello. And today we're going to either go through just the Son of Hulk books that continued on after um, Scar and everything, or we summarize all these and we get into the opening arc of the um, of the Incredible Hulks. That's Hulks plural. Either way, though, we're going to talk about Hero Kala. At least, let me double check to make sure that was his name. Yeah, Hero Kala. Cool. Who is the twin brother of Scar. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah. And we find out he's actually worse than Scar. Very much worse. Can't wait to see it. So, we pick up Right at this is the very next issue. So while all the stuff with Scar happening on um on Earth is going on, this is still happening with all the remnants of Sakar. So remember, we have, Hero, we, we have we have Hero Kala, we have Old Sam, who apparently is the guy who create who made up the prophecy. We have Axeman Bow Bone. Sierra was around, but you know, but of course her spirit, because she was still part of the planet. But once um, Scar fed it to Galactus, he um, and she died with it. We also have Princess Omaka, who was the um, Red King's daughter, and and Lila, Lila who was Axeman's daughter. Remember all those from Scar? Yeah. So yeah, so let's continue on as. Everything is starting to go to hell. People are trying to get off the planet. Axeman is trying to lead, the, and uh, Omaka are trying to lead everyone to get them out of there, to try and get as far away from the remains of Sakar. But it's not doing well. And also to remind you as well, Scar, by giving um, Galactus a planet with the old power, he's made Galactus addicted to the old power. Ooh. Unfortunately, because they don't have anyone with the old power anymore, without Scar and all that, the old the old um, shadow people ships are just flowing to the solar winds. Ooh. And Galactus is still hungry. No, Galactus. Yep, and we see um, Lila and Leia with Hero Kala, and um, she's afraid. She's worried, um, and basically, like, don't don't be alone. And now remember, he ha does have the old power. He earned it. So he then decides to head out there um, and, head, and actually head out there and confront them. He's thinking about all this. And on the last day, Scar and Sakar will crumble in the dust. After that, the world breaker will be known. The death of Sakar will lead to the death of the of other worlds. So apparently there's more to the prophecy, supposedly. And lo, I did hear a voice calling to me across the solar wind, saying, "Fear not, for the days end, for and uh, uh, for truly and nothing truly ends. Fear not, for the lot and for the loss. For if just one memory remains, nothing is lost." Now I want to make this very clear as we go through all this. Hero Kala really starts because basically um, Galactus is now going to other worlds with the old power. He's just consuming the old power because he's now addicted to it. Mm. So, yeah. So he decides to actually head out there and confront him. To you, Galactus, I am impre impressible. Less than a speck of dust on the wind. You don't hear me. You don't even care that I exist. But you will. I once heard a sound on Sakaar that I could never ignore. It grew louder as I grew older until it was all I could hear. I know you're beginning to hear it too. It's the sound of our destinies about to collide. You've destroyed the only home I've ever knew. Now you will lust beyond reason for the all power. You're the only one who doesn't see that it's coming to consume you first. All of the residue you left behind when you were um, sated and is now inside me. I didn't know my destiny until now. For it is nothing to, do, to be chosen if you don't know what you've been chosen for. But you have given me purpose. The old power that now swims through my, my body tells me who I truly am. 
I'm going to make you pay a thousand times. A thousand. I'm going to make you pay. I'm going to make you feel such agony that the pain of Sakar's death will seem, it seem as in, in, like an inconsequential thought. This is this I vow in the name of my father, Hulk, the Green Scar. So this is the first time we find out that that's who you know, that he is the second child. Now to this mm-hmm. point, we had no idea who he was. That's true. <laughs> and then Sierra is there for a moment, like, and she even says, "How, oh my son, my beautiful, precious son, how could I have known?" When you needed me, I saw another. I reserved my counsel for Scar, the only child I knew. I offered you no mother's breast, no place to cry. I abandoned you without knowing. Sayara, mother, I am gone before I could love you, my little hero, Kala. How can you ever forgive me? He's coming back. So yeah, he comes there and I was like, ask your false prophet. He already knows who I am in his heart. It's you. It was you all along. Of course, later on, he gets, um, oh, one other person mocks him. Yeah, Scar kills him <laughs> for doubting him. Hear me now, all of you. Your prophecies are incomplete. I am the one, the light bringer, the Sakar son, and I am also the world breaker. I alone carry the last of Sakar's old power. I am the son of Hulk. Uh, of Hulk, child of his coupling with my mother, Sayera, who dares to doubt me further? Speak now or forever. Oh, hero, Kala, you are the Sakar set. You have my allegiance in any and all things. I swear it. Let it be known from this moment on, I will stand by your right hand, at your right hand as your servant. When I questioned you, I was misguided, blinded by pride. When I enslaved you, I didn't know what I was doing. You also freed me. Rise up, X-Men Bone. Your sins are forgiven. Really? That's it? You didn't know me as a Sakar son. That went before now means, and that what went before now means nothing. But if any of you ever question me again, I will kill you where you stand. Now, of course, old, and old Sam points it out, but she even says, you said you invented the prophecies. You said they were a lie. No, Amaka, that was a lie. When my ancestors came to Sakar, they found the prophecies. I lied because I felt Sakar needed more than just prophecies if it was going to survive. I felt there was too much reliance upon old stories, and I chose to disavow them. But I was wrong. So in other words, Paul Jenkins revealing that Greg Pak's reveal was a lie. So it, it being a lie was a lie. <laughs> okay. Now, of course, that may, but he gives a good reason why. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. <laughs> it's still funny. Yep. So they're trying to head to another planet to land on. Another one that has the old power. This is a planet named Giosar, one of the very first claimed by the shadow when they spread to the stars. My ancestors passed it when they first came towards the car. You only need to know one thing about this place. If we set foot on this planet, we will die. So yeah, they make their way out, and Hero Kala decides he's basically being made into the leadership role after all of this. And he yeah. basically feels like I am the chosen one, but you will come to know me as a god. Why does his uh, face remind me of Drax? <laughs> <laughs> it's the markings. Ah. Burned by the sun. Basically, to summarize what goes throughout the rest of this series in this these couple of issues is that Sakar comes onto the planet, starts using the old power, but as he does so, he starts to become disillusioned by it. He starts to feel, feel the old power is a evil a force of evil, but he also decides to come up on there and um oh on on oh my little hero Kala, is this what you have become? A killer of armies, a messenger of hatred and pain, a violator of the natural order, a tyrant. All these things you do because your father and I have bandaged you without knowing. Once I thought I wanted you, mother. I dreamed a thousand times that you would hear my cry, that you would come for me. But that was before I understood my place in creation. This is a message for Galactus. You're not the one I want anymore. And hold on.
That'll get annoying if I don't if I don't stop it. But anyways, this is going, like I said, he starts to prove himself as being like a god, fighting these other forces, so that their religion becomes obsolete. Why? Well, I'll get to that, but look at how ruthless he is. <laughs> Remember when I said he's worse than Scar? I mean, look at this, and then think about what Scar did. Scar just fought monsters. That's true. I mean, he still killed a lot, but this, I hey, am your monsters God. monsters are people, too. <laughs> for you do not feel, for do, and for do you not feel the earth shake in my presence? So I na ask now, citizens of practice, if you will, if you see a just God or an avenging God, have I not stared into the, and star started into the challenge of your greatest weapon and defeated your king? And do you yet deny my divinity? Then you shall all die! By the ghost of all shadows, and he breaks through the um through in th the pl um the wall. Break through the wall. That now again, now here's the thing though: he's doing all this because he has a master plan for Galactus. He has a big plan for all of this that he figured out what to do. Sure, I'm just kidding. <laughs> come on, come on! Not this again. It's always because of me. Nah. <laughs> I haven't done Marvel since the last time you and I went over it. It just doesn't like Hulks, I guess. Come on. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, did we refresh it? I did refresh it, yeah. Oh. And I don't have any other internet going on. Because sometimes that does it. Yeah, happens to me too. <laughs> yeah, especially when you only have a limit, you don't have unlimited internet. Dang, unlimited internet. I mean, for me, my maximum is like three megabytes. I have no idea what that means. I'm a computer person, but that'd be like talking to a Luddite. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, that was harsh. I don't even know what a that means. A Luddite is someone who doesn't know technology at all. That's me. <laughs> you know you know decently with technology. Uh, I'm okay, I guess. Enough to survive. Well, better than some... A Luddite would have no interest in technology. Come on, you stupid! Oh. It's because you called it stupid and now it's angry. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> there we go. Yay. So yeah, they're making their way through still, and he is just blasting through everyone. Again, he wants to show himself as a god. And sure so enough, people start to worship him as one. Now, I should also point out, Omaka got separated from everyone. We won't see her until the end. Aw, that thing's adorable. Aw, oh, it is. Oh yeah, and uh, Le Laya, uh, uh, Lila is tr uh, Lila. Sorry, Lila. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to know how some of these are pronounced. Lila is also trying to help. You know, hero trying to figure out who he is, and she's trying to help calm him down, temper him, and all that. Oh, I think I was wrong. Maka is still there. She eventually gets captured, though. Mm. But yeah, she wants to know what is he hiding, and like you don't understand, princess. And even if I tell you what I have learned, you may still not never know. Nothing here is as you would believe. Basically, then he gives a summary about what's been going on. You know, the sh what the shadow people are coming, what Surfer and Galactus had done, and knowing the old power to be unstable, the shadow people taught many worlds how to harness its effects. This was the first plan to be made stable by the shadow people. 
Um, and uh, for the old power was their own creation, one that destroyed almost a quarter of their known of our known universe. Really? Really? Yeah. Not what I expected. Um, are you telling me the shadow caused this problem in the first place? How could I have told you before now? The shadow people once thought that they would become gods. So in other words, it's showing that there is a dark secret to the old power. Okay. But of course, you didn't want to say it because what would have been the point? Okay, I can understand that. But why? Why would he come here to come here to be a god and so want to destroy all that he rules? Only he knows the answer to that. As Galactus is showing up, wanting more power and more of the old power. And sure enough, more attacks are going on. Hirakala, they need you. My father needs you. Aren't you going to help them? Not yet. I want them to know how it feels to lose all that you have. I want them to understand true fear. Again, see what I mean? Is it any worse? Yeah. Because <laughs> unlike, unlike Scar, he doesn't have a Hulk form. You know, to kind of put the justification on. I mean, that Hulk persona doesn't have justification either. But, no, I'm saying, no, but you still have young Scar. The child the version, right? Child Scar, yeah. You still have him, who's still a good boy. And then you can look at um, Monster Scar as being his rage, just like with Hulk. Hero mm -hmm. does not have that here. He's more like Sierra, so where he only has his one form, and he's being a monster. Yeah, I can see that. But yeah, we're seeing all this stuff going. Part of the reason why I'm breathing through is that all of these characters we've been setting up, everything eventually is going to amount to very little. Even o I mean, Okama is going to amount, announce, amount to little. As people are trying to figure out what's going on, all this attack is going on, they're trying to so uh, survive and silence all of you. I already knew about the force field. You knew, but how? Because I disabled them myself. My lord, X-Men Bone, I'm going to grant you a boon, for you alone have demonstrated unquestioning loyalty. Something is about to happen. Something bigger than you will have the capacity to understand. Who among you believed in me, as this man does? I promise you that whoever believes in me shall one day be saved. Instead, you trust in your senses, even though your instincts prove that I alone will be your savior. You flip between messiahs as if they, the very concept is interchangeable. You were right to doubt his sanity. His eyes tell me he can't handle the power. The old power you call upon is sick and perverted. It has always been the defunct um, energy you worship. and uh, uh, The defunct energy you worship is poisonous. So in other words, he's starting to hate the old power. Mm. And I will explain my actions to those of you who are worthy when the time is right. So as this is going on, he is, like I said, just becoming more and more hating of it. Sam, what's happening in your face? What? No, damn you, Hercola. You cannot do this. You have no right. And there goes Sam. Sam. Yeah, that's that's a shame. Like uh, everything is as it needs to be. As all of the other people on the planet are worried, now they bring ok Omaka and Okama to her and to Hero, trying to offer her as a you know, like an offer to you know mm -hmm. to let them free. Instead, he kills all of them, Bruh. even Okama. He doesn't care. Like, X-Men Bone, take only Lila and a handful of your most trusted men and ready the stone ship. Do it now and do not question. So yeah, he is killing everyone who's been shared with the old power. And then he then steps out there as Galactus is coming. Welcome, Galactus, to our world. Accept this, my gift as your new herald. That's a lie. And basically his whole plan, the reason why he took on being a deity and all the stuff with the old power, he was ready to poison Galactus. He changed the, the, the planet through the um, religious beliefs, was able to manipulate the all power so that once he event and he starts to consume it, but he's sacrificing everyone on this world. 
I have heard it said my father, the Hulk, became stronger as he became angrier. If so, the true source of his power comes from his mind, not from his body. I never understood this until now. You are about to hear my message, Galactus, as I once promised you would. So hear this. I feel a new power welling inside me. I have combined the old power, an artificial creation of the shadow, and the power cosmic that ruled our universe. This new power shall be driven by hate, and I hate you most of all. <laughs> he collapses. They're trying. They're all, but they get Hero out there. They're heading out. And I never doubted you for a moment. If it looked, if it, if I looked worried, it's because my legs were getting hot. But I never doubted you. Enough, Axeman Bone. My time as a god is ended. Lord Hero Kala. So he thinks he's used up all of his old power. Take me to the observation window. I need to see Galactus. But the old power. We are no longer driven by old power. I have forsaken it. A new power groans within me. What do you mean ended? You can uh, can you be a god one minute and a man the next? I never believed I was a god. It needed to. It, I, I needed it to seem so. What did we just do that I don't understand? We have made a noise that even Galactus can hear. There came from the abyss such a scream. Basically, on yeah, he's starting to absorb all of it, and he feels like yeah, I am the world breaker. Why must we stay, hero? It hurts to see them die. Just watch, Lilla. You were you're different. You're different. Before I knew what you were and where I stood. And where do I stand now, Shadow Son? I told you. Just watch and then you will understand. Ugh! What's happening to it? By the tongue of the gods, I see it. I don't believe it, but I see it. You plan you plan you planned this. It was what you intended from the moment you l and looked Galactus in the eye above the remains of Sakar. That you find and you find a planet based in all power and turn it, make their people worship a false god, destroy their infrastructure, their culture, their entire world. You've poisoned Galactus. So do you hear me now, Galactus? Because I hear you by the deafening sound of your own silence. What you feel is the pain of a hundred billion souls inside you, the fear and the torment of every single one. Every, every mangled body, every lost aspiration aspiration for the future. You took my mother from me, and now you understand. You were taint and tainted by a power that will destroy you the next time you consume it. This is the pain of knowing you can never have the thing you crave the most. I hope you choke on it until the end of time. Ah, remember the sound of my tiny voice in your oversized ear, planet eater. Remember this warning. One day you'll come upon another planet in your travels, and you'll ask yourself one very important question. Was I there before you? So he yes. starts to absorb so <laughs> much of the all power. I never understood. Not really. Not until now. Not until now. This is what it means to be the Sakar son and the world breaker. The all power. The all power is a repulsive force. That the, now, Sayer might sound off. That's intentional. The universe can no longer tolerate, Mother. Go with the others. The old power no longer binds you. How can I leave you with this burden? What you have done in silence is for is greater than anyone can ever know. The shadow people almost destroyed our universe when they created an artificial power they could not control. Only you understood it must be erased while everyone else wanted to use it. Even I, who had, my, had thought myself so wise, you sacrificed a planet to save the universe, and no one will understand. But I will. You cannot You cannot be here, Mother. I could never have found the courage to do this, nor your brother, Scar, not even your father. Please go. Now notice, her hand was glowing as she touched him. Know that I love you, Hero Kala. Whatever you have done, whatever is said or written, what you have did here, whatever may come. <sighs> so he comes on board and find my brother, wherever he is. Find him. We're going in that direction. So she what scarred him. But you see what uh -oh. I mean about him being more monstrous? What do I feel like he's going the same route it exactly as his brother? <laughs> no, he's going worse. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Now, do you remember them in during Planet Hulk that was mentioning of a Microverse world, and it was the woman named Jarella who was another love interest of the Hulk. Yeah, we've seen her a couple of times. Well, they're about to head into that, that that microverse world. I 
again, I'm going to breeze through this. As they're just going through, um, Lord Hirakala, these warnings we've heard from other ships in the region. They call it the fault or a rip in space, in space and time. My Lord, what are your orders? My Lord? Sorry. Um, <laughs> So yeah, they know, they know that again. The old powers are corrupt abomination. Again, a, a vile mockery of the power cosmic. So again, they're constantly um, using it. To, you know, they believe this about the old power, and that's going to keep on going for a while. Okay. All of a sudden, a spell casts him, and he and um, they start to do, and he disappears. Something has taken him, and they're going to find out who. As they find out, the subatomic world of Kai wants the home to the Incredible Hulk. Um, he was been brought in there through magic, oh. but we don't know that yet. So I'm just I'm gonna just skim through this because by the end of it all, it's not gonna matter much. But yeah, there he is. He arrives and destroys his father's old sh- um, statue, <laughs> <laughs> and he was brought there. It seems to help, and he sees a, for a moment he sees a vision of him and Lilla. You know, together. Yeah. You wish to see my hate? Here then! This is what it looks like! Hirokala, protect us! Figured I hear that at least once. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so he's, again, he's just looking at all this and he's releasing his, what he believes to be his new power. Hmm. Yeah, but you feel like I'm not a savior. I'm a new monster for a new age. <laughs> At least he admits it. Well, that's true. Now, this is going on with something called Realm of Kings. That event doesn't matter. I wish to know more of your world. My journey was interrupted. I was brought here against my will. We will tell you whatever you wish to know. You saved our people from the Cyclops and our, pl- and our p- planet. We thank you for this. What is your name? I have many names. I've been called Child of the Shadow. I am the One, the Sakar Sun, the World Breaker. I am also the Life Bringer. Our people, their souls absorbed by the invaders. He has resurrected them. A god, you are a god. No, I am Hero Kala. I am Son of Hulk. So they followed him there. Ooh. And yeah, they, they feel like, lead us, lead us. You do not, not you need not worship me, for you will serve a greatest per, and purpose, greater purpose and sublocation. In granting you new life, I have changed you. You and you will help rid this microverse of an abominable energy known as the old power. So again, he's trying to hunt down the old power. Because again, he is constantly convinced it's an evil thing. And again, it for partially was evil. So or at least, or no at longer misused. evil anymore. So I'm afraid that it was misused, but it's still energy. Okay. You get what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah. It must have meant something to the Hulk. He apparently found happiness here, if only for a brief time. And so it shows that the two are getting close. But like I said, he's had a vision that he will become a threat eventually. This is your prophecy, your new power. Yes, a latent ability, sparked by the Cyclops when they attacked me. Each time a vision occurs, it grows more symbolic, but reveals a deeper truce. I don't know. I don't want to know. I know of this. This is wrong. No one should know their future. No one should. Lilla, my father's power is generated by anger. My brother's power is derived from the all power and driven by pure savagery. Their blood runs through me. You are nothing like the Hulk or Scar. You want to live in their and don't want, you won't have to live in their shadows for long, Hero Kala. Stop this madness. I cannot. I am what you, I, I am not what I see. I bring you a message. What? I am the herald of your future and your victims of the, your past. I have seen Hero Kala's new power launched through space and time, wildly underestimated and miscalculated, but so powerful that its final destination is irrelevant will surely incinerate the known and unknown alike, collapse the subtle architecture of the cosmos, bring ruin upon reality and dreams, and douse the flame of all things, past, present, and future. So apparently he is going to be more of the world breaker, more than we think. They whisper of our doom, wrapped in a shapeless mass lurking below the right of our lives. 
So again, he's seen, but you see what I mean? How he's and now he feels that he's being foretold about this. Yeah, definitely. Um, but he feels there's another, there's an energy on this planet, and he will have it. There is old power lurking within south of inhabited worlds throughout this realm, and there's something else, an energy that rivals my own. I will have it. So we see Axemen dealing with um, Mar- a marionette, former princess of that world. They are fighting it out, but they are soon realizing they get just how far gone Hero Kala is going to be. As he's tapping into all this power. Must I overstate the obvious? My loyal resurrected. Your grace, ancient technology seekers were not at the Isle of Assassins. Ooh. Ooh. She looks like a human character. <laughs> she does. She does. These vessels are powered by the same natural energies that encompass this microverse. And your people can utilize all of your world's ancient technology. I will soon empower all of you. Yes, Lord. I have foreseen the old power stripped from this microverse. You exist as the resurrected pilots of that prophecy. You have been altered, changing the living inter- inter- intermediaries of the, my new power. You will board these vessels immediately. You will pl- pilot these crafts to the farthest reaches of space. I revise your souls that you may one day sacrifice your bodies in my service. A fair trade, yes? Maybe. <laughs> and we soon see what's known as the enig- a living enigma force. Talk to him, saying, the same power that has riddled your body with disease is the same power that can no longer intervene. But I can warn you, Arcturus Ran, he's a per- uh, one of the... A- member of a group known as the Enigma Force team. And I say, I will educate you on the deadliest threat the mi- microverse has ever known. Um, she tries to take this necklace, but it feel, um, it's called an Enigma Force Nullifier. Because basically they've realized that, yeah, Hero is going to be a bigger threat. Hmm. Yeah. Um, um, of course... Lilla, it reveals that she does love him no matter what. Ooh. Yep. But we also find out that the Enigma Force was actually created all these years for this moment with Hero. Okay. Well, my, I, I see your microverse. It's all power finally ripped away, leaving nothing but cooling embers, a dim glow behind the tattered veils of the cosmos. What he said, the worst part, and she feels like this is all her fault. My brother Scar wielded the old power as a savage set loose upon the universe. I struggled for life, enslaved and irrelevant. I wanted the old power for myself until I learned of its evil. No idea what you're talking about. You're the evil. Shut up with that, stupid. I'm going to get myself killed if I keep this up. Just let him talk. You, you, you called the strange energy the Enigma Force Nullifier. It rivals my new power. It is searching for someone. Someone with the strength and knowledge to stand against me. And sure enough, it does find um, find him, um, Ron. And he's basically saying, I know the legends. The Enigma Force Nullifier des- um, designed as a cosmic antidote. Created to cure long-term exposure to the Enigma Force. You did this to me. For a thousand years, I was at your beck and call. Your servant. I was the hero of the microverse. And this is what I get for it? A death sentence? Yes. <laughs> all I've done. All I've sacrificed. It still wasn't enough. You do not know my purpose. But I am about to show you. Arturs, uh, uh, the legends, they are wrong. The Enigma Force Nullifier can be used to cure your disease. But it was created for something else. It was designed to prevent ultimate cat- catastrophe from an outsider who will brandish new power of incalculable proportions. The Enigma Force Nullifier was conceived to erase this threat by altering history. You have much in common with the ancient way- and Wayfinder. You are a perfect conduit uh, on to wield the nullifier's power, Arcturus. Altering the past will change the future. You're showing me what I would become. Yes, you could use my power to save the microverse or save yourself and become its god. Hirokala is not in love with me, but someday he will be. And in that instant, the universe will be reduced to cosmic rubble. So he realizing I was using that power and everything, witnessed the will of Hero Kala, his armada dispatched throughout the microverse, the planets that contain the old power. Galactus, his body transformed into a poison depository of concentrated old power, diminished and reduced to slavery. 
In one inconceivable destructive moment, Galactus's millennium of absorbed energy will be converted and sent forth. And thousands of inhabitant planets containing all power will be simultaneously obliterated, causing a chain reaction that will dismantle the microverse. And it will be nothing to you, Arcturus. So I can either live as a god lost to humanity or set the nullifier off. Let it do what it was designed to do and hope that Arcturus ran even exists in the new microverse. I don't have a choice and you know it. Never did and never will. And I'll let my a new history decide my fate. Whoa. So, yeah, but that, so I was then decided to use a spell to send him back from the microverse. But at the same time, I've, you know, like, uh, he's trying to say that, you know, the energy Enigma Allifier, and Allifier was created to defeat him by changing the history of the microverse. They have to keep him here. But unfortunately, Jure started a spell that's sending him back. So, yeah, he's forcing me from the microverse. Um, the fool doesn't care that the old power festers inside a million plants. So, again, constantly t- t- talking bad about it. So, wh- ha- why is it called the microverse again? It's micro, microscopic. So, how does he become microscopic? Just naturally? No, no, no. no. Magic, because it still exists on another plane. Magic from there can bring someone to their world and shrink them down. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they eventually leave, and he had... Um, Connect and held on to the planet so the planet would come into the main universe with them. Oh. They're no longer in the um in the microverse anymore. Uh oh. And um uh, one of them you know, fell down and um, seemed to fall to her death. Oh. But yeah, but um Lila seemed to calm him down. But what does he do then? He kills her! <laughs> That's what she gets. So, yeah. So next then we see him in some of those backup stories that I had skipped over before. Mm, okay. Now this is when Greg Pack gets back involved is dealing with um, all this. Greg Pack. Once we're done, I think then we can wrap up. After we're done with these, we can wrap up, and then we'll do the um, Incredible Hulk's next episode. Okie dokie. Are you choky? <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie, are the choky, smoky loki. <laughs> smoky loki, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, like, I've emptied my new power into the stratosphere, where it joined with a mystic force that pulled the planet Kai from orbit, saving me from the rebirth of the microverse. A car- careening this world away from its sun and into a past between space and time. Perhaps I should have remained there to be erased from their new history. After all, I've lost everything. You knew, didn't you? You saw our fates colliding. My uh, uh, universe Armageddon. My ultimate manifestation of new power. Someday sparked not by an emotion of anger like my father, the Hulk, but by love. So that's why he killed her, because it would have brought that dark you know, future. Ah. Well, at least that's what he's convincing himself. Ah. Of course, X-Man is furious now. After being loyal for so long, this is what he gets? Yes. <laughs> I have a prosperity of my own, you know. It is a glorious revelation. I'm about to chop your head off! But yeah, so obviously after everything... I mean, can you blame X-Man? Because I don't blame him. Nah. After everything he's done for a hero. So throughout all of this, um, 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 yeah, he basically heads his, you know, run, it runs off and Axman seems to find him, but then he's knocked down into a big pit. So he's going to go after him. Oh, you, you can just leave him there to die. Nope. He wants to make sure the fall, because... One, he doesn't know what's down there. It could be, um, it could be certain deaths. It might not. That's very true. You, you never know. You don't see somebody dead until you see the body. Yep, but basically, when he's there, he soon finds the core of Planet Kai, the World Mind, the living essence of Kai, among millions of other sentient planets. So, and he basically, um, he's saying like you, like. You keep so much hidden. Your past, your old power, 
You hate the old power within you? The old power is corrupt, volatile. It cannot. No, you are mistaken. Let's face the truth together, Hero Kala. You need, I need your help, and you need mine. Sit there, you see? I can do, what I can do? I can heal anything except myself. He then showed about what he had done, you know, everything he's gone through. And he showed all that these are your guardians. Uh, oh, no, these are your guardians? So we get to change the subject. Very well. You've already learned how to access my knowledge. Good. You are correct, of course. They are the war mine. The combined spirits of the dead pit all poab assassins guild. Go ahead. Go ahead. You need power? They are yours to command. I will not command them. I will simply give them what they want. Worthy adversaries to dispatch. Now, don't worry. x Men's going to survive throughout all of this. Um, mm. And soon, though, more of them are coming up now. And then, this, yep, here we go for the last one of this episode. Come on, come on. So yeah, now and those things are coming up now. The war mines are coming up, and they are um, they have a hunger for battle. Some fortunes unleashed them. I will not de and deny them their just desert or yours. You have what you need, world mind of Kai, my old power. The only thing that can repair your shattered core systems in, in, in essence. And in return, you have shared your planet's world mind power with me. We have saved each other's lives. Go now. Use the old power that I hate. The old power that I have sworn to obliterate from the universe. Use it to heal. I will take care of everything else. And he starts to take over all of the planet. He sees a vision of what happened with his father. Um, and they just feel like we have something in common. Lost love. I now smash the memory of it, of her, into oblivion. I do not demand your worship or loyalty or even your trust. I'm about to heal this planet. All I ask is that you hold on to something. As he's able, able to move the planet like it's a ship. Oh, okay. And he's going to bring it to Earth. Oh, so he also uses the world mind's power to bind Axeman. The Hulk was once this planet's king. Like a father to the people of Kai, I brought you the light of hope. I am nothing like my father, and I have no light to get... Uh, he brought it. I have no light to guide us. Instead, I will bring you hope within the darkness of an unfamiliar universe. I will be your dark son. So, do you see what I mean about how he's much worse than Scar? No, yeah, to me, he's a lot better. Really? After sacrificing, as a villain, I guess. Well, as a villain, but he's a bigger monster. Let's be honest. He is because, especially when we find out, he's actually deluding himself. Every justification he's ever give is false. None of it's true. They're all justifications that he's given that for his horrible deeds. Not even Scar. Scar embraces it. He doesn't delude himself. But what did you think what overall? He's a narcissist. But overall, what did you think? And which of the stories did you prefer? I mean, I prefer the Paul Jenkins doing the rest of the Son of Hulk story. I didn't care for the Realm of Kings. I think I'm the same. <laughs> yeah. But what, but what do you think about Hero Kala overall? And talk about mm. pointless deaths, right? Yeah, I guess I can kind of see that. I did enjoy it, though. Mm -hmm. But yeah, killing off old Sam, Omaka, uh, Lila. The only ones left now are Hero and um, Axeman. At least Axeman is cool. <laughs> yeah. And again, I feel bad for Axeman, don't you? He was just trying to help guide the world, and then look at all he got by the end. He's all alone. Yeah, that's super freaking sad. He shouldn't have followed. Uh -huh. He shouldn't have. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah, you, and, and the fact is, though, for the majority of his time, he was well rewarded until Lila was killed. Yep. All right, well, next time we will be, that's it for the um, Dark Sun portion. 
Tune in next time as we start Incredible Hulk, which actually was a bi-weekly series there at Marvel during this time, as we see about when um, Hero comes to Earth. How is the Hulk going to react to this? See ya. See you.